Let's make a quick roundup of the different types of the microcontrollers used on the flight controllers so you know where to concentrate your search. First of all, the F3s. You still can buy the F3 flight controllers from China on the AliExpress or on the eBay, but they are dead, they are gone. Do not bother getting anything that is equipped with the STM32 F3 controller. With the deprecation of the SBUS and SmartPort protocols, the F3 4 family of the STM34 makes sense again. Why? Because none of the modern radio receivable protocols require the inverted serial ports. And because the F4s cannot do it natively, it was always something like the hustle. But with the Crossfire Ghost or Express LRS, the inverted serial ports are just no longer a strict requirement. So, both F411 and 405 flight controller make sense again. And really, as long as you do not plan to use SBUS or SmartPort, the F405 are absolutely fantastic. A lot of flash, a lot of processing power, a lot of memory and will work for years. The situation with the F411s, however, is not so straightforward. If you don't have to connect the SBUS or SmartPort to them, it's all great and fantastic, but F411s have very little flash, very little memory, very little serial ports and connecting everything that you might want to connect to the F411 might be a challenge. This is why they will work fantastic on the tiny whoop or the tweak style of the drones or very 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 small airplane when you just do not have to connect a lot of sensors but with the bigger and more advanced build there will be problems. As long as you are not building something very small without a lot of peripherals just ignore the 411s and go with something more advanced like F405 or other families of the microcontrollers that we're gonna discuss in a moment. One of the biggest advantages of the F7 family is that they have very flexible and configurable serial ports. So you can invert the serial port natively and connect SBUS or smart port without absolutely any problem to any serial port that you your flight controller has. When the SBUS and the smart port were the kings, that made a lot of sense. Nowadays, with the Crossfire, Express LRS, Ghost and similar modern radio links, it's not really no longer a strict requirement. I, however, still recommend getting the F7 instead of F4 as long as you are aware that this will be more expensive, you might not get what you want because of the global chip shortage and if you get the F722 in a few years you might have a problem. Because of the all F7 microcontrollers we use, the F722s, the most popular, have the little of the flash and the RAM memory. And that means that already there are hacks that make the Betaflight and INAF work on them and in the future we might have a feature cuts. Not yet, not right now, but in the next few years we might expect some of the not very popular, however sometimes used features might be removed from the F722s. And ArduPilot doesn't work on the F722. So what to get? F745 or F765? For the multi-rotor drones, F745 flight controller will be just great, as long as you will be able to find one. And if you want big and pricey airplane with a lot of servos, huge motors, huge ESCs and a lot of sensors connected to the flight controller, then F765 is the flight controller for you. One more time as long as you are ready to pay the price and will find something that is available on the market. And finally, it's time to talk about the H7s. H7s, they are the biggest and the baddest. If you want to have best of the best of the best, then H7 is your flight controller expensive it will be expensive but it will have a lot of outputs a lot of serial ports canvas if you want will run any software there is and will be great choice for years but 
for the price and the price is measured in dollars. If you are thinking about cutting a shortcut and instead of getting yourself the H743 you are thinking about H750 because you know the higher number is better and the flight controller is cheaper then my advice is actually no. Do not buy the flight controllers based on the STM32 H750s. They don't have enough of the flash memory to fit Betaflight, iNav or Ardu Pilot. How they did that? With a trick. There is external flash memory or SD card that holds your program, then the program is loaded into the RAM memory and executed from the RAM memory. It works, yes, sure, fantastic. But don't you think that this is kinda a little hacky solution to the simple problem? This is why, if you really want to buy yourself an H7 and brag about it, go with H743, not H750. If you would like to know more about the flight controllers, here's the video for you. I'm Paweł Spychalski, thank you very much for watching and, like always, happy flying!